Hi everybody, I'm Helen, the designer behind Sunflower Cottage Crochet and today's tutorial is actually in three parts and I'm going to be showing you how to make this scrappy table runner. Um, obviously this is just the small sample that I've made for video purposes but it is so much fun and you can make it as big as you like. Now you can see here that I'm actually treating my squares as diamonds and joining them like that rather than joining them as squares but you can do it either way so today what I'm going to be showing you in this first video is how to do the motif at the beginning the second video will show you how to join as you go and the last video will be just a very quick how to do the border so if you're ready to start with me let's start with our motifs Okay, so for this first motif, um, I've used, I'm going to use three colours. You can see that they're my scraps, it does go a long way, I promise. So for the centre, we always start with the flowers in the centre. You can either change chain three and slip stitch to the first chain that you made, or do a magic ring. Now for a magic ring, this is how I do it. So two fingers wrap yarn around twice and then take your yarn your hook through the center of the first one and pull that through and that's how I do my magic circle and then I'm just going to chain one to tighten that doesn't count as a stitch so now what we need to do is work six single crochets into the center of this magic ring. Oops. One. Six. And then we'll pull the tail to close it. and we will slip stitch to join so if you're not sure because we did the chain one it'll be this one but if you're not sure whether this counts you can work back from the one on your hook so we've got one two three four five six so this first one doesn't count because that was our chain one so we're literally just going to slip stitch to close that and then we're going to chain one which doesn't count as a stitch shall I come in just a little bit for you and then in that same stitch we're going to do a half double crochet and then a bean stitch so we're going to wrap our yarn insert it into that same stitch that we've just worked the half double crochet in wrap our yarn and pull through so now we've got three loops in our hook then we'll wrap our yarn insert it into that same stitch wrap our yarn and pull through so now we've got five loops on our hook you can't really see that very well because the yarn's splitting and we'll do that once more so wrap our yarn insert it into that same stitch wrap yarn and pull it through and then we're going to wrap our yarn and pull through all seven loops on our hook and then we're going to chain one just to close it now that chain one won't count as a stitch and we're going to do that all the way around so we'll repeat that five more times so we'll half double crochet in the next stitch and then we'll do a bean stitch in that very same stitch so wrap your yarn, insert your hook wrap your yarn and pull it through wrap your yarn, insert your hook into the same stitch wrap your yarn and pull it through and then once more wrap your yarn, insert it into that same stitch wrap yarn and pull it through and then pull through all seven loops on your hook 
oops, just drop it a bit, and then pull through. And we'll work the next stitch. So we'll do a half double crochet. And then a bean stitch. And then we'll chain one and then a half double crochet and a bean stitch in the next stitch. Oops, drop that one. Same again in the next stitch. And then we'll do the same again in that last stitch so that we end up with six bean stitches and six half double crochets all the way around. Don't forget to that last chain one and then we will slip stitch to join and then we'll just snip that yarn and we can fasten off. So that is what the centre of our motif looks like. Now to work the petals, grab your second colour and then in any of these spaces, in any of these stitches, remember the chain ones don't count, you can insert your hook and attach it. And then chain one, which doesn't count as a stitch. And then in this same stitch, we're going to do a half, um, sorry, a single crochet, half double crochet, double crochet, treble crochet, and a picot, all in this same stitch. Whoops. So we'll start with a single crochet, and then a half double crochet. and then a double crochet and then a treble crochet so a treble crochet you wrap your yarn twice so you've got three loops on your hook then you insert it into the stitch you're working wrap your yarn pull through wrap your yarn pull through two wrap your yarn pull through two wrap your yarn pull through two and a pico we're just going to chain three and then slip stitch into that first of the three chains. So you're going to skip the first two chains and just slip stitch into that first one that you made. And then in the next stitch, we're going to work these four stitches backwards. So we'll start with the treble crochet. So we're going to wrap our yarn twice and then we'll insert our hook into the next stitch. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And then we'll double crochet half double crochet and single crochet all in that same stitch and you can see that is the first petal or starburst whatever you're turning this into made 
and we're going to repeat that all the way around so in the next stitch we're going to single crochet half double crochet double crochet and treble crochet and then we're going to work our picot so chain three and then skip the first two chains and slip stitch into that first chain that you made and then in the next stitch we're going to work a treble crochet a double crochet a half double crochet and a single crochet And that is our second made. So in the next stitch, remember to skip that chain one. We're going to single crochet, half double crochet, double crochet and treble crochet. All in that same stitch. And then we're going to chain three and slip stitch to the first of those chains and then in the next stitch we're going to treble crochet double crochet half double crochet and single crochet so that's three, pet three petals or three sides of the star made so we're going to repeat that another three times until we get round to this side. And the last side of the final petal. And then we're going to slip stitch it to the first stitch, to the first single crochet. And snip the yarn. And fasten off. So that is the center done. Now for the third part of the motif we're going to be actually turning this into a square. So you get your third color and we're going to attach it to the center of any pico around our around our motif. Can you see that? So where we've got our chain three, you'll have a little hole, you'll be able to get your hook through. And we'll attach our yarn. What we're going to do, this round is really easy, we're going to chain 8, 7, 8, and then we're going to slip stitch into that next pico, and then chain 8. and slip stitch into the next pico and we'll do that all the way around until we get back to where we've started from and then I'm back to the beginning so I'm literally just going to slip stitch to that first chain 8 oh, I promise once you've blocked this it'll look better we're going to chain one and we're going to single crochet 10 into this chain eight space. So one, two, three, four, five, 
six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then we'll ignore the slip stitch and we'll single crochet ten into the next chain eight space. And we'll do that all the way around so we'll ignore that uh, slip stitch and we'll do 10 single crochets in the next chain 8 space. And again until we reach that first single crochet. There we go. So now we've got 60 single crochets around that outside edge. So now we have some structure that we can actually turn this into a square with. So for round six, we're going to chain one, which doesn't count as a stitch, and we're going to half double crochet into that first stitch and the next six stitches. And then in the next stitch, we're going to create our first corner. So we're going to work two half double crochets, a chain two, and two more half double crochets all in that same stitch. I don't know whether you can see that creating a corner. You'll see it more when um, when we start working down this next side. So then we're going to half double crochet into the next 14 stitches. So there you can see that's then pulling that corner into a corner for us. Once you've done those 14 half double crochets, we're going to create another corner in the next stitch. So we'll be working two half double crochets, chain two, two half double crochets, all in that same stitch. So there's my first half double crochet, second half double crochet, chain two, third half double crochet, and fourth half double crochet and then we'll work 14 half double crochets across the next 14 stitches and then we'll create a corner in that next stitch so we'll work two half double crochets we'll chain two and we'll work two half double crochets all in that same stitch And then we'll do a half double crochet in each of the next 14 stitches. And 
and then in the next stitch we'll work our last corner so two half double crochets chain two and two half double crochets and then in the last seven stitches we'll work our half double crochet in each stitch and then we will slip stitch to join So that, hold on, is our first motif finished. Come out a little bit, there you go. It's our first motif. So now I can quite comfortably sew in the ends because I'm not going to need any more to stitch that together because when we work subsequent squares we're going to join them at the corners as we create them so for the subsequent squares we're going to create the middle the petals and the first two rounds of our motifs in exactly the same way so what I'll do is I'll go and make a few of these and I'll come back and I'll show you how we do the last round and join as we go. I hope you enjoyed learning how to do that motif. If you would like to subscribe to the channel, please feel free to do so and click that little bell icon to be notified of every time I update a new video. Um, the second part of the Scrappy Table Runner is linked in the description and I'll be showing you how to join as you go. Take care. Bye.